The Ross Sea in Antarctica is the southernmost sea in the world. Its ecosystem is almost entirely free from human disturbance. Every year between October and March, thousands of Adelie penguins build nests on the edge of the Ross Sea in Cape Royds and Cape Crozier. Although penguins spend most of their lives in the sea, these few months are crucial to maintaining a healthy population. The Cape Crozier colony is one of the largest Adelie penguin colonies in the world, with over 300,000 nesting pairs across nearly two kilometers of shoreline on Ross Island. Understanding how these populations are reacting to environmental changes is critical for long-term ecology and conservation. Unpiloted aerial vehicles or drones are being used for animal monitoring and population surveys. In principle, aerial surveys could be completed faster using automated UAVs compared to UAVs operated manually. But the extreme weather of the Antarctic presents unique challenges for the operation of automated UAVs. Below freezing temperatures severely affect battery life and sudden high winds limit altitude. And because penguins move about in the colony and weather changes rapidly, speed is essential. Researchers at Stanford University and Point Blue Conservation Science created an algorithm that iteratively finds the most efficient paths for not one, but multiple UAVs to follow. The algorithm divides the survey area into a grid. It then finds a set of paths that move through each grid point at least once. It iterates, with each subsequent path shorter than the one before it, until it finds the most efficient set of feasible routes. The process is repeated for each section of the survey area, and the paths are transferred to the UAV flight control software. Orange areas mark no-fly zones, and yellow circles mark the location of pilots who could take remote, manual control of the UAVs in case of an emergency. UAVs launch from the field camp and fly to the colony. They then decelerate and descend to take photos. Previous human-piloted UAV surveys took over two days to complete. Drones using this system surveyed the colony in only three hours. When they complete their routes, the UAVs return home. The UAVs take over 2,000 images each survey. These are stitched together to make a mosaic of the area. Access to accurate, large-scale data is vital to ongoing conservation and ecology efforts. Through fast and efficient aerial surveys, teams of automated UAVs can greatly simplify the data gathering process and speed up population analysis.